Hello and welcome back. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. We are going to be in for one hell of an investigation here. Is anybody here? Every floor I'm going to is the wrong floor. Mother Rem just went off down there. Something just hurt the side again. It's like a whip. Let's take a look at what happened last time on Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. I heard that big bang there. Was that something to do with the lift? Or was that paranormal? Find out. You hear that tapping again? It's just from the other side of the door. It's on the other side of this door here. But I don't know if you can see through, but this floor separated by this door there is nothing on that other side. Sounds like something's dragging. I really appreciate what you're doing, I think. Tap something, move something, throw something out. Boom! That was the door around here. Listen, well, I hope it was the door. Now let's hear from our psychic medium in Oklahoma, Para, to find out what she feels could be haunted, Pear Mill. Hey, it's Para, and the reading is for Pear Mill. The first ghost I sensed ever from this place was actually from Sean's live feed uh, that I was watching, and there's a little, the spirit of a little girl. Um, I was able to talk to her a little bit when I went back and looked at the photographs just because I could pick up her spirit it was easy for me to find again and she uh, told me that she's very sad and she's very regretful that she's looking for her mommy and her little baby sister and I asked her what happened and she goes I ran away from home and a man hurt me and I said well why can't you go back home and she basically said, because I'm buried over there. And she pointed in this random general direction. And I just got more information. Near the river? Buried near the river? Is there a river nearby? North. No. The location is north of the river. Okay, anyways. Um, she, I asked her, you know, is there some way I can help you get home? And she goes, no, they have to find me. So if they don't find her body, she's not going to go home. I asked her why she was here at this location. She goes, because I worked here. And I couldn't believe that such a young girl, she may have been 9 or 10 years old, that worked, worked in this... Is it a cotton mill? Worked at this location as a, and made... Egyptian, Egyptian cotton. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, she also, um, sorry, I just keep getting more information. She also told me that she mostly stays outside. She doesn't really like to go inside because of the spirits that are in there. Um, the next spirits I picked up was from the photograph. Um, the first two photographs, in fact, which are pictures of long, giant hallways, and there's just this big, massive black shadow that just walks and stands in the middle of it. And he was very threatening. He didn't want me there. He didn't want me to be there. He was very mad and angry at me for trying to come and get information from him. <laughs> so I kind of pulled back a little bit and tried to give him his own space, but he was still mad that I was still there. The third spirit is a very isolated spirit. He is usually stays in one particular location. He doesn't really leave and go anywhere else. Um, <clears throat> if I was there, I could find where he's at, but since I just have a limited view of, I think it was like four photographs, five, four or five photographs, I could tell his energy is there, but I couldn't find the location. 
So I kind of got like a block there. Um, since I couldn't find out more about these ferrets, they didn't want to talk to me. I tried to find out more of who they were when they were alive. So I pulled out my tarot deck and um, did a short little generalized reading about who these spirits were. Um, I had to write down. The first spirit, uh, the tarot's pretty much confirmed to what I felt personally. So the first spirit was very aggressive and demanding. He experienced a great loss, but unfortunately it was necessary transition, which I do believe was his own death. He is very angry that he died and he's become defensive about it and he doesn't want to let anyone in. The second spirit, which is the spirit of the little girl, um, Vampire's card clearly showed that she was a female. Um, I do believe the spirit of the little girl, the four of wands is about home and harmony and celebration. I believe that she left her home because of her little sister. I think she was jealous that she wasn't going to be the only one and chose to leave and she ended up dead because of it. Um, the tower confirmed that she had a sudden upheaval or change in her life, which I do believe was her own death. Um, the other card was the strength card, which confirms that she is very courageous and compassionate because she does want to go make amends with her family. She does want to find peace and she's a she's not aggressive at all she's a very tender spirit and very curious and talkative she's she will be willing to talk to you the last spirit which also can the cards also confirmed what i felt um the last spirit is very emotionally manipulative and violent if you do find him he mostly keeps isolated um because he lost one of his closest relationships to him he and it was because he he was poor he used to be top dog he used to be a very powerful man and he lost everything he lost his business his money and he lost his relationship with whoever it was a friend or his wife or and he um, if he does choose to show himself to you he will be swift he will act accordingly and he's not afraid if you come in his territory the gloves are on um that's all i got from paramill good luck Wow, Paul. Yeah. Pear Mill. Mm. So far, not disappointed. No, there's been a few little bits and pieces that uh, seem to have been leading up, I think, to, to some more bigger things happening. Um, it does feel like it's a slow train starting to build. Slow train, but it, the, you know, the energy's building and building and building. And some of the stuff that we're experiencing, is it paranormal? I don't know. But you know why? It's bloody good. It is, and I like to try and debunk, you know, this. Yeah. I don't want to say everything that's happening is paranormal. Um, and while things have been happening, I've been trying to find logical explanations. So far, I can't. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> you know when something moves or gets thrown at you? For me, unless something's loose on the ceiling. Yeah, it, it's a solid mill. It's like, it's like I said, it's not the oldest mill, and there's been a lot of money that's been put into this place to start regenerating it and using it for other businesses. Nothing's loose unless you're in, apart from this area. But again, it, it's solid. You it know, is. It's not falling apart. Well, you know what? It's a big mill. Mm. There's a lot to investigate. There is. And I think we should investigate even more and see if any more of this activity, while it's starting to increase, yeah. continues. Yeah. I think you need to come down here. Down here? Yeah. Okay, well I think I'll come back down here then, yeah? Okay. Come on then. God, it feels weird. Listen. No way. 
noises. No. I'm here in here. This is weird. I feel like somebody near me. I feel, I feel it. The REM's going off as well. Look, look, look. Now that, to me, is validation. Something just poked me in the side again. No, a little scratch, I think. I think so, it scratched me, which is weird because that's a long time since that's happened. I don't think it was demonic though, I think it could be kids or something. I'm just gonna move through into here and check it in the line. Let me just have a look. Where is that? We just chuck that into colour so you can see. Look. What the hell is that? It's like a whip. It's like something whipped. Has whipped me. Along. I'll have to ask Paul about that. It sounds like something whipped me. I don't feel terrified or anything like that. Because I don't feel like it's um, nasty. People would normally freak out. Look what the hell. No way. Let me show you. Whoa. I don't want to open this, but I'm going to. And it's really stiff. Look. No one. Here. What the hell's going on? I'm gonna flip it back into night vision. So if I capture anything, you'll see it, okay? Hi, I'm on the second floor. Um, very big room. Is there anybody here with me? Is anybody here? Can you set one of the devices that's on the floor? I put two REM pods out. Just see if I'll get any interaction on this floor. There's any children here? There's a little device, either end of the room. We go and touch that little stick. It'll make a buzzing sound. Can you do that? Do you see, it's very, very dark. I'll show you around. This is a big room that I'm actually in. My own the guys have gone off downstairs doing long vigils. Hello? Is anybody here? Can you do something? Can you make a noise? Can you tap on something? Will you bang on a door? Okay, <laughs> this is getting freaky now. Sometimes I feel like I'm going mental, I'm going mad when stuff like that happens because you can do so many investigations and nothing will happen like a door will move. Something's obviously whipped me or had a go at me, but you know what, I don't care. Because I'm out here investigating, I'm putting myself in this danger. So you know what, that's what I'm going to have to cope with. It doesn't happen like that all the time, but you know what, this is a bloody good investigation so far, and it is tonight. I just heard a voice. I'm telling you, I just heard a voice. Are you there? Banging above. Was that you that just banged then? Hello? Are you here with me? Hello? Did you use your voice then to communicate with me? I'm still 
staring and chattering or talking. I'm going to throw something down here and see if it throws back. Is it needing on the floor? Okay, I've got this stone. There's a REM pod over there. I'm going to throw it towards the stone and see if anything happens. I just threw some at you. You were able to do, throw it back at me. No way. No way. The door moved again. Look. The door moved again. There's no one here. Look. Right? There's zero. Nobody here. Look. Whoa. The rem as well. The rem. Look, 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 look. This is a heavy door. Yeah? Look. Take some force. So physically, just put it back onto me. Take some physical force, and I'm going to open it and show you. Physical force to pull that wide open, yeah? And some it did, some it moved it again. And this time, I caught the shadow of it. You know, this is some of the best things I've ever caught, and I can't wait to see what else this location has to offer because if it's going to be anything like that who knows what I could experience tonight I could experience maybe a full-blown apparition or anything like that but you know what that's what I'm here to do I heard that then this isn't stopping this is just going mental so warm very warm Did you hear that noise? Please tell me you heard that noise. Hello? This is freaking me out a little bit now. Is there somebody there? doorway. Can you see anything? Are you in the doorway? Whoa. I just had somebody in the doorway. I'm just going through now. I'm gonna shine my camera. How was that? Yeah, you're throwing things at me now. What the hell did you throw at me? What was that you just threw at me? I heard something get thrown then. <sighs> Let me just take a, a second just to get over this. Because this I didn't expect. Permit. Do you know what? Some of just. I'm just going to recreate some of it. I didn't expect Paramount to be as active as it is. But I walked and some of it grabbed my foot. I'm going to show it up. I walked. Was it this? Did I just feel this? I don't know, but it definitely felt like some of it was grabbing at me. I swear I heard footsteps. 
I think that whoever it is in here is attacking, whipping, whatever it was that happened to me just before, I feel that they're playing a game. And they're playing a really, really good game. And I feel like we are going to be in for one hell of an investigation here. Going off what's happening now. Let me just point that there. I can hear rustling. There was something there. No way! This mill has got so much going for it, it's really eerie on this floor, it's, it's a strange feeling, it's hot and you've got cold spots, I don't know, I don't know what to make of this. Can you do one last thing for me? Can you come towards me? Whoa, that was behind me. And that door, well. Wow. I was pointing down here. Sorry, I was pointing down here. And that went. That's an amazing thing to experience. Can't believe it. Do that again if that was you. Do that one more time. No way. A car, that is it. That was freaking weird. I'm gonna try that again one more time. Get ready. Okay, I'm gonna close the door and say, Open the bugger. That's me standing by the ramp. I'm just gonna reset that ramp. Okay, I'm close now. If you can do that, I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really catch you. Open that door again. Rattle it. Whatever it was that you just did, do it again. See. No way, no that, you know, you heard it first. No one was there, I panned the camera, nobody was there. This door moved or made a noise on camera. This place is well active. Pear Mill was not disappointing. And with the door opening, this was fantastic activity. What else is in store for us tonight? Okay, so I've come up to the sixth floor to see if I can get any more activity. I've got the Alex box with me, and if anything is here, it'll maybe speak to me on the Alex uh, box. Give me a word and indication that it's here. I tested the lift theory out before, it worked. So, if there's anyone here, can you communicate with me through this machine here, this device, and give me a word and let me know you're here. Fact. I might actually take the lift down. 
Leave the stairs to floor five. Let's see if I can get something to communicate with me. I am now in one of the uh, corridors that has had the, the dark shadows seen walking along them. And uh, I've got a rem down there and a rem up there. And we're going to see if any shadows pass me by. Is there anybody down here with me? You try and show yourself, make a noise. Can you affect one of the instruments I've got down here? I've got two black boxes that have got metal sticks coming out of them. And if you can touch those, make them go off. And they won't harm you, they'll just make a noise. Let me know that you're here. Can you try as hard as you can? Just walk down here. Don't mean you any harm. Did you work here when it was a, a functioning mill? Did you have an accident? Did you die here? Please try as hard as you can to talk to me. Let me get the obelisk out again. Oh, gently. I said gently. So there's another lift there. There's a load of stairs here. They take you all the way, you know, down out of the uh, mill as you would expect. But, what lies on floor five? Going on there. Do you know what? It's locked. Now that's weird. Because earlier, that was, that was open. Maybe it's because I came down floor five, down the, uh, the other way. Really, really weird. Pray. Jesus Christ. It's a pray. Picture. Pray and picture. So, the Alice box has said pray. And it's also said, picture. What's it wanting me to pray for? I'm in a mill. Stuff is happening. You know, are you asking me to pray and take a picture? Well, maybe I will. And here is a newer modern uh, lift. Let's go in here. We want to go to floor six, do we? Floor six. Yes. So I'm going to take the lift back up to floor six. Six floor. Okay. And then I'm going to head back to floor five again. Uh, where I was a bit earlier doing the lift. Doors so opening. Take this Alice box. Doors opening. I want to take this Alice box and see if anything is in that area. So I'll just have a, a look now and see. If you can try and use all your energy to talk to me through this. Tell me who you are. Footsteps again. Tell me who you are, please. Can you make a noise?
Oh, the rem just went off down there. Hall. Hall. Can you do that again? Did you just come into this corridor? Come towards me, please. Let me hear you. Let me hear you walk. So I'm not in total darkness down here because there's emergency lighting, but there's only the one. And that hasn't set that off because if it was anything to do with the electrics, it'd be going off all the time. And that was just a short beep like something passed it and broke the field. Talk to me please. Make that go off again please. Can you set the one off that's up here nearest me now? Or the one that you set off a moment ago. I don't mind. Either one will do. Either one. Just let me know that you're here. Okay. Well, as you can see, they're right up here. So it's quite an interesting spot. This is where I was a bit earlier before. And when I came up here, I went down the lift. And when I went down the lift, it stopped on floor five. Like it wanted me to be there. And that's one thing I'm gonna point out, which I always point out, is, I hate this, but is how you're calling the lifts. Is that nobody's here. Nobody's around. But more so, I'm not asking for a response on the Alice box right now. And what's happening? No response and nothing. But the lift, and you know why, don't you? Because the lift is now stuck on floor three. then <coughs> here's our call out here I ask by the lift there's some thing that you're here to communicate with me okay is anyone here who can communicate with me come forward and if you're the person that stopped the lift on floor five tell me floor on the lift floor five communicate with me speak to me don't just play games with me speak to me and let me know you are here with me. I heard a shh. I heard a shh. Speak to me on this device as well, if that was you. Speak to me on this device. Are you there? Are you able to communicate with me? Knock on this lift behind me if you're here. No. No way. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Look. Do that again if that was you. Do it again. Do something for me again. And if I whistle, whistle back. Come on, come and do something. Tell me you're here, let me know you're here. If you don't want me in this place, if this is your little hideout, your hangout, and you want to be left alone, 
show me, tell me to get out, do something to move me. Come on, give me something. Chair. Yeah, give me a chair. I'd love a chair. Show me a chair. Do something for me. Anything at all. I'll have anything that you can do. Shit. That door just moved. Rewind. Rewind, maybe. I've just caught something on camera and I need to look at it. But fucking hell, that door just moved. What the hell was that? Oh shit. Is there somebody there? Businesses. I don't know if I can show you to be honest. There's nobody in there but that door just moved. <clears throat> and it's a heavy door. It's quite a heavy door, you can't just... I couldn't bump into it but I think you saw I wasn't moving anywhere. Did you just... Hang on. Sultry. Oh yeah. Is it a female that's down here? Rose, are you here? Talk to me. Tap on them doors, or send the lift up. Obviously I left it open, but send it up. If you're able to do that, do it now. Okay, there's not much happening at this moment at the lift. A few little taps. The Alice box has gone quiet. Interesting. Interesting activity so far. Will anything else happen? Let's find out. Let's call out. Let's find out. Let's, let's see if anything will join us on this investigation. The thing about this place is, Jesus, it gives you like a spooky feeling as you walk around. I was just going to have a look down here. This is going down to floor, oh, Jesus, where am I going, floor five? which obviously is locked and I can't get through to the other side because the lift is still open. I'd have to go right round and reverse the whole process of what I did before. Do you know what? We could. We could. We shall. I want to experience something more paranormal. So you want to get your exercise here, don't you? There's a floor. Or, as you can see, he's derelict in the minute. Should we have a look? Jesus Christ, it's not derelict. The lights all spring on. <laughs> okay, let's go down one more. Two, four, three. Floor three. Birds. That's interesting. I've not seen any birds tonight. Factors. Birds and factors. I haven't seen any birds, but maybe, maybe Paul has, maybe he's seen some.
spring. I just heard footsteps. It sounded like they were coming up this corridor and they were quite heavy. Squeeze. Squeeze what? You're going to come and squeeze me? By all means do. Can you give me a hug? Come on. Hoping that uh, if I just face this way, the camera might capture something over my shoulder. Coming out with some interesting bits and pieces. I don't for one second believe there's a demon here. See, it's just waffling now. It's just waffling. So, we shall find out. Ghost image. Is it going to be here? The left is closed, brace it. Look. And it's here, exactly where I said it would be. The lift is here. So. Gym. So let's go to floor five. Oh, it works this time, look. IDA, it said IDA. Pray to God this is floor five. Or floor four. What? What's going up? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Every floor I'm going to is the wrong floor. Every time I try and go anywhere, the lift is sending me to the wrong place. What the hell is going on? Paul, what a fantastic night here at Pear Mill. It's not been bad. There's been varied activity on camera, off camera, the stuff that happened with Jane earlier. Yeah. And down there, just before we start the VT, bang, something yeah. happens. Yeah. And I thought I heard somebody crying. You thought you heard someone yeah. crying? Uh, and there's nobody here now. All the businesses and what have you have gone. So it's essentially just us and yeah. the security guard in the hut. So, so it's weird. Mm. And I don't know why it's happening. Maybe it's true. The reports that people are witnessing here. You know, we haven't seen any full-blown apparitions. No. You know, doesn't mean we didn't catch one earlier in show, yeah? Well, that's it, yeah. I mean, no. Uh, they're not on our timetable. No. You know, we don't know how they're working, if it's a residual haunting, an active haunting, we don't know. We only come in to try and get as best evidence as we possibly can, and we've caught some good stuff, I think, tonight. I think it's been a, an interesting investigation. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's been the best. Nobody's Because we've had some, some corkers, but it's been, it's been pretty good. Certainly my best visit today, anyway. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. So, from all of us at Ghost Dimension Flying Solo, until next time, thank you for watching and good night.